Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my home in the Himalaya. You can feel it in the air now. How early spring is approaching and ready for a new time to arrive. I moved to the Himalaya two years ago, and every year I am surprised how, after such a long winter that we have here, the early spring still feels so refreshing. It's like meeting a friend I haven't seen in a long time. The changing season always inspires me about how we live with blessings and receiving the gifts from the nature. Spring passes, and one remembers one's innocence. Summer passes, and one remembers one's passion. Autumn passes, and one remembers one's abundance. Winter passes, and one remembers one's endurance. And life passes, and one remembers one's loss and growth. I live in a remote Tibetan village in the Himalaya. It's an incredibly beautiful place, but nowhere is perfect. Winter offers some unique challenges in regards to the huge snow and freezing cold temperatures. In the coldest days, I had to say I miss the feeling of walking alongside a river, or walking into a forest barefooted, and pick up some fresh fruits. When the time of the heavy snow and the cold wind is over, it leaves the highland as a white canvas, where the melting stream gets to carve and paint on the body of the land. You can imagine how much I miss the sunlight. It has been snowing for a whole week. I was stuck at home to keep warmth and trying to restore the inner peace in these cold, lonely days. Announcing the start of the day with singing birds, I finally begin to feel how my energy is coming back again. I walk out and make a snowman with the decoration of some naturally dried flowers. I love to see how the dead plant can become alive again on the fading snow. As it will melt and fall in the future, I believe we can also know that the warm spring has arrived.
spent my time outside to enjoy the sunlight to the fullest. At the time I saw the thick layers of snow, my first thought was to lie down onto it, to feel its softness with my whole body, and that's what I did. I asked Droma to help me to dress up in a traditional way. I treat it as a small ritual to help me to reconnect with my homeland and see the beauty in life. In February, during the Tibetan New Year, everyone in the village dress up in the traditional way. Most ladies wear the jewelries made of turquoise and red coral, which are inherited from their mothers or grandmothers. Tibetan people believe that the turquoise can restore and protect the spirit of human. And the corals, it's been said that they are four souls from the ocean in the ancient time, where the ocean now becoming the Himalayan plateau. Tell me if you are interested in the culture behind Himalayan dressing and jewelries in the comment section, and I can make another video to share with you more about that. I hope you enjoy this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I will see you next time.